Hey there Capricorn, this is Renee and welcome back. Capricorn, this is going to be your reading for the next 48 hours. What you can expect, what is coming forward the next 48 hours for you. Okay, so we'll get some energy. What's going on with Capricorn the next 48 hours? Okay, we have honesty. I can't always expect the truth from others, but I can expect it from myself. Beautiful. And we have pride. I love myself and I see myself in everyone. Okay. We have service. I feel good when I can help others. Okay. At the bottom, we have regret. I know that I cannot change the past. Okay, so there may be something that you're regretting, but I feel like maybe someone wasn't honest with you about something. There was some kind of tug of war going on, Capricorn. Um, but I feel like you using your generous nature, um, I feel like you're kind of taking the high road, okay? Um, and I feel like that's kind of a struggle. But that's kind of the energy that I'm getting Capricorn out. But I feel like, you know, with you, honesty goes a long way. So I feel like being honest with yourself as well as someone else being honest with you really speaks volumes to you, Capricorn. Okay, uh, let's get some tarot for Capricorn. Okay, we have the Page of Pentacles. We have the Ace of Pentacles. We have the Justice card, and we have the Six of Swords, okay? At the bottom, we have the Four of Swords. So I feel like you're really focused on yourself, on your recovery, on, you know, just resting and feeling more healed in your situation. Healing is what I'm getting with that card, okay? Okay, so Capricorn. We have the Page of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles. So I feel like some sort of gift is being offered to you. You're going to receive some sort of gift of generosity. Um, you are a earth sign. So the pinnacle does represent your sign. Um, but I feel like you're focused on your pinnacles. You're focused on building. Okay. Um, the Page of Pentacles, I feel like you are working hard to build something up. This may be some sort of uh, new job, getting a raise, or like changing careers. But I feel like, you know, you're going to receive some sort of good news very soon. Some sort of good news is coming through. And it may be something to do with being rewarded for some kind of effort that you've already put in there you know some kind of work that you've already done you're being recognized you're being rewarded for uh, the justice card this can also mean that you know something is turning in your favor some kind of law issue is going in your favor at this time and i feel like it's moving you into calmer waters you're transitioning Okay, and this is a necessary transition. This is movement that needs to be made, okay? Um, let's get a little bit of clarity for Capricorn. A little bit of clarity for Capricorn, please. Tell me more about this Page of Pentacles. What is this good news that's coming in? Okay, the Devil in Reverse. Something that you're being released from. The tower in reverse. Something that you're not expecting to change. And the, the knight of swords. So, and I feel like in this tower, with this tower reversed and this devil reversed, it's something that... I feel like it's going in your favor, but I feel like it's something that you're not ready to let change. I feel like you're like... Hmm. You, you're not ready for this change to happen. But I feel like with this Knight of Swords energy, it's something that needs to be done. It's, it's some kind of action that really can't be stopped. It's something that's already in motion. 
you know so there's no need in thinking too much about the situation because it's already in motion okay um but the the page of pentacles this is good news so something is good something good is coming out of this something good is going to happen you're going to receive some sort of good news that you're definitely not expecting um but i feel like it's gonna sort of free you from some sort of worry or envy um okay um i feel like it's like negative energy being released hmm tell me about this uh ace of pentacles we have the seven of wands the king of wands and the king of swords wow lots of energy here okay with the seven of wands energy i feel like this is something that you are kind of competing for you're protecting this you're defending this you you may be kind of keeping it secret about some kind of abundance that you're coming into you're kind of holding on to that information you don't want to let everyone know this information so you're like keeping it secret but you're like protecting this energy you're protecting this pinnacle okay uh with the the king of wands i feel like you you feel like taking action this is excitement this is also the king of swords so um the king of swords energy I feel like you, you're you like building up a strategy on how to create more. Okay. Um, hmm. But I feel like with this, with both of these kings, you feel very powerful. You, you're feeling very bold. You may feel like you have it all at the moment, you know. Um, like all of your needs are met. Hmm. Tell me about this justice. We have the four of swords again, the moon and the magician. So with this justice card, With this justice card, whatever news this is, I feel like you're finally able to rest. You're finally able not to worry about the situation because um, it's all becoming more clear. It's all becoming more apparent, more aware to you. It may have been something that you were worrying about, something that you were really focused on. And maybe you thought it was going to go the wrong way. But it looks like it's turning in your favor. Uh, Capricorn and it looks like you're able to create a fresh start you're able to create something out of this you're manifesting you're able to create something new have that focus again okay um, very interesting tell me about this six of swords energy what is Capricorn moving to okay we have the Eight of Pentacles, the Seven of Swords, and the Ten card. Excuse me, the the Ten of Swords. So lots of swords in this energy. We're moving from the six to the seven to the ten. So I feel like you know someone who betrayed you. You're like moving past that energy. You're moving away from that energy. You're like done with it. You no longer have the energy to put into that. Because the, the Eight of Pentacles here, that's like finding happiness in something that you're building, something that you're doing, something that you're working on. Um, you're, you're like mastering your craft, okay? Um, so I feel like with the Eight of Pentacles and the Seven of Swords, you, you're not letting it get to you that someone really didn't have your back at that moment because you kind of expected them not to. Um, and you, you just feel like, you know, that's the last, that's the last straw. I'm done with it. I'm ready to move on. I'm ready to leave this situation. Okay. So 
and I feel like that's what the the ten of, excuse me the six of swords is. You're moving away from this energy of feeling betrayed, of not having your needs met. Okay, let's get another row for Capricorn. Tell me more for Capricorn, please. <clears throat> Another message for Capricorn. The next 48 hours. Another message for Capricorn. Okay. We have the Four of Swords again. How many times can this card come out? We have the Three of Pentacles. The Ace of Cups. And the Death card. So, yeah, this situation is truly over. You're... That's the reason why you're moving on. You're moving on into a better situation. Whatever this is, it's done and over. You're ready for a new beginning. Okay? Um, we have the Queen of Swords at the bottom. So some kind of truth has come out. Some kind of information that you received has made the situation done and over with. And you're moving on. You're transitioning to someplace else. You're, you have your ending and your new beginning in this situation okay uh, we have the four of swords and the three of pentacles so with the four of swords and the three of pentacles i feel like you are this is like a blessing in disguise for you okay you you're able to kind of build yourself back up gain your long-term security rest you know and feel rested you know, feel this rejuvenation. The, these wolves are outside of these swords. You know, it looks like they may be out for the out for the prowl, you know, using him as prey. But those swords are protecting him. They're protecting him from any outside um, enemies. Okay? So, and I feel like you have protection. You're being protected. You're being guided. You may be collaborating or teaming up with someone to build up a skill um, that you have or to build your wealth. You might be investing or teaming up with someone to, who has more knowledge in the situation, who has more stability. So you may be speaking to someone very close to you, someone who has investment knowledge or, you know, but I feel like you're, you're like collaborating with somebody to build something up. Okay. With this justice card, we have the, the, uh, ace of cups. So I feel like this situation, whatever karma is coming back around, this is bringing in love, happiness, support, kindness. You know, this is building up your cup. This is, you know, the feeling of being satisfied with your effort. Okay? And tell me more about this Four of Swords energy, Spirit. Give me messages for this Four of Swords energy. Okay, we have Temperance and the Two of Wands. So I definitely feel, look at this, we have the Four of Swords on the bottom. For real. So, I mean, that's just double clarification that, you know, you are being protected. This is a blessing in disguise. You are being able to rest and rejuvenate and build yourself back up. Okay. This is long-term security or your desire for long-term security. But with the temperance card and the two of wands, I feel like you're, you're building up your stability. You're planning for the future. Now, you may want to look at the Gemini reading that I had uh, earlier, but it, it looks like, you know, the two of wands, this is a power couple. If you're already in a relationship with somebody, this is a power couple. They're holding the world in their hands and they're making plans for the future. They're planning out their success. And with the temperance card paired up with it, this is stability, balance, you know, um, Having harmony, self-control, you know, a feeling of, you know, you are being protected. And as I'm looking at that, I'm seeing that, you know, that angel, it, it looks very protective. Like it's, you know, like watching over the things that happen to you. 
that is just the feeling that I'm getting from it. Okay, tell me about this Three of Pentacles spirit. Okay, we have the World card. Something is complete. And the Ten. Wow, the Ten of Cups. So you've completed some sort of lesson. And I feel like this abundance is coming through. Whoever this is that you're collaborating is like pushing you over this threshold. You're like hitting this finish line and coming into this happiness. So I feel like your abundance is overflowing, uh, Capricorn. So this is beautiful energy. Something is making you very happy and content. So that's beautiful. Tell me about this Ace of Cups. Tell me about this Ace of Cups spirit. The sun. Oh my gosh. And the hangman. Okay, so I feel like with this Ace of Cups, you're now able to look at love at a different perspective. You're now able to look and observe at this, you know, vision of love and bring yourself happiness. The, the two of the... The Ten of Cups is right next to the sun. So it's like happiness overflowing. So if you are open to love, I feel like something is coming through that is going to bring you a lot of happiness and joy. You know, your cup is going to overflow. Okay, Capricorn? Okay, now with the Devil card, we have the Star and the Lover's card. So like I said, you have love coming through um love is on the way capricorn you have love coming in okay um with this death card something that was done and over with you're gaining your healing but look at this love is coming in right behind it i feel like this this ending had to end so that this new beginning in love could prosper you know, and we have the the Four of Cups, the Sun, the Star, the Lovers, you know. So this is beautiful, beautiful energy coming forward for you, Capricorn. Beautiful energy. Uh, let's take a look at the Moonology cards. Let's see what we have in Moonology for Capricorn. Okay, we have Have Faith in Your Dreams. Your dreams can come true. Okay. Meditate and contemplate. Take time to build your spiritual side. You know, meditation is very beneficial, especially when you're manifesting something because you can quiet your mind and manifest exactly what you want. You'd like go into this. For me, it's like entering into a spirit realm that is like open to all discovery okay and i can actually quiet my mind and really think and feel uh, what exactly it is i want what exactly it is i want to bring into reality so uh, meditating and contemplating can be very fit, beneficial especially if you're meditating on healing on manifesting something into your life, on just quieting your mind, you know, being able to relax and focus. Uh, so, yeah, I do have some um, affirmations on my on my website if you want to take a look at those. Um, they may help you meditate and focus. Okay. We also have work through your fears. So whatever you're fearing, Capricorn, you can release those fears. Be bold and make the first move. Okay? Yeah, be bold. Make the first move. You have this, Capricorn. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and get some angel cards for you as well. Because I'm kind of led to get some angel cards for you. And I'm like dropping them all over. Okay, just a moment, Capricorn. Oh, so many wanted to fall out. Okay, so 
we will take these that wanted to fall out. Okay. Okay, we have expect miracles. Remember that only love is real. Miracles will occur naturally. Spirit has your back. Okay, there's a miracle unfolding. Capricorn, love and peace. Let go of the need to be right. Choose peace. Mother healing is possible at this time. Yeah, we see the star here. You have your healing. Okay, we have phases and cycles. There's a beginning within every ending. Illusions are revealed and released. And we see that with the death card and with the ten of swords. Okay, and we have sacred self. Unleash your spirit. Express your gifts. And dance to the sacred rhythm of life. Be a free spirit, Capricorn. Let the universe flow. Okay? Beautiful energy, Capricorn. So if this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit the bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And take a look at your sun, moon, and rising. I do have a playlist for the February reading, so I'll attach that to this video for you if you want to take a look at your sun sign, your moon sign, or your rising sign to get more clarity on your messages. Okay, and until your next reading, Capricorn, many blessings, love, and light.